In this video, we will show you several ways you can access flood maps to learn about flood hazards in your area. We will introduce you to the many options developed by FEMA for accessing flood maps, explain what fermets are and how to create your own fermets from FEMA's website, and introduce you to two other map finding tools recently created by private companies. In the process, we'll be providing you with instructions on how you can locate a specific property using these tools. These key terms and acronyms will be used during this presentation. You can find the terms and their definitions at the web address on screen. In other videos in this series, we discuss how flood maps are essential to the insurance and regulatory functions of the NFIP. Lending institutions and federal agencies use these maps to determine whether a property is eligible for certain types of loans or grants, and to determine if the purchase of flood insurance would be a condition of a loan. Private citizens and insurance agents may also use these flood maps to identify properties at risk for flood damage. As a result, it is important that everyone know how to access FEMA flood maps. FEMA has made easy access to flood maps a priority and has put in place many options for finding flood maps. Paper copies of FEMA flood maps and flood insurance studies for your community can always be found at your community's map repository. This is usually your city hall or, if you live in an unincorporated area of the county, your county courthouse. The map repository address is sometimes printed on the flood map index of the firm. The costs associated with printing, storing, and distributing paper maps were once a substantial expense for FEMA. So, since 2003, most flood map products have been produced in a digital format. These digital flood insurance rate maps, or DFIRMs, can not only be printed in paper format, but the DFIRM database can be used with a number of software products and online services. This makes it possible to overlay the DFIRM information with newer aerial photography or combine it with other community information layers, such as those for streets, soil types, and critical facilities. FEMA has combined the available DFIRM data for the entire nation into a national database, which is referred to as the National Flood Hazard Layer, or NFHL. Several of the electronic mapping tools that will be discussed in this video make use of information from the NFHL dataset. FEMA created the FEMA Map Service Center at www.msc. .fema.gov as an online portal for accessing many mapping tools. The Map Service Center is a repository for both scanned copies of paper flood maps and tools for accessing DFIRM databases. The Map Service Center allows you to search for a particular flood map in a number of ways, including by a specific address, by state, county, and community name by map panel ID number if it is known, by community ID number if it is known using the quick order function, or by using the map search function, which allows you to find a general location on a flood map by using landmarks such as primary roads and rivers. FEMA is continually changing and improving the features available at the Map Service Center. As a result, FEMA provides step-by-step -step tutorials for using most mapping tools on the Map Service Center website. Links to many of these tutorials can be found on the Map Service Center's homepage. A firmet is a section of a firm that you can print directly from the Map Service Center. Because a firmet is a same-scale snapshot of an official NFIP flood map, it can be used for any legal purpose under the NFIP, such as when a copy of a flood map section is required for a letter of map change. The Map Service Center offers users the option to create a firmet free of charge. To find your flood map, go to the FEMA Map Service Center website and use the product search function. Search for flood maps by typing in an address, city, or zip code. 
click Search. This will bring up a new window that displays a map zoomed to the area of interest. The Firm panel that corresponds with the area you searched for will be highlighted, along with a clickable link to the Firm panel. If this is the correct area, click the link. If you wish to view another Firm panel in the zoomed area, click the Select button on the left-hand side of the screen. Then select Click a Point and click on the corresponding Map panel. This link will open up a new window that lists the Map panel of interest. Click the View button to the right of the listed panel. This will open a new window. To find a particular property of interest, use the Zoom Window function by clicking on the Zoom Window button and then drawing a box around the part of the map to which you wish to zoom. Alternatively, you can also use the Zoom In function by clicking the Zoom In button and then clicking anywhere on the map where you would like to zoom. To make a firmat, click the Make a Firmat button on the left-hand side of the screen. Pink and green boxes will appear on screen. Drag the pink box over the area of the map that you would like to be included in the firmat. The green boxes should automatically appear over the title block and the north arrow. Once finished, select the format that you wish to save the firm, either as a PDF or image file. Then, click Save Your Firmat. The firmat will be downloaded to your computer. A step-by-step -step tutorial with links to these steps is available on the Map Service Center website. The web address is included in your participant materials. The FEMA Geo Platform can be found at the web address on screen and in your participant materials. FEMA Geo Platform allows users to assess their flood risk from within their web browser without having to download any additional software or data. To use the Geo Platform to view national flood hazard data, click on FEMA's National Flood Hazard layer. Users can zoom by address, zip code, city, or state. Type in your desired location into the search bar located on the top right hand corner of the screen and click Search. The Geo Platform will zoom to the desired location. Once zoomed, users can explore the NFHL dataset. Under the Details heading, you can click the Show Map Legend button to view a legend of which symbols represent the 1% annual chance flood hazard, the regulatory floodway, and others. To print a map from the FEMA Geo Platform, click the Print button. A new window will appear. Use your web browser's print function to print the map. For more information about how to use this tool, FEMA has created a user guide available at the FEMA Map Service Center. The web address is available in your participant materials. One thing to note is that the Geo Platform only provides flood hazard information for areas where DFIRM products have been produced. So, it's important to first determine if FEMA has provided a DFIRM for your community before using this tool. Google has created a tool that integrates the NFHL dataset with the features of Google Earth called NFHL. This tool takes advantage of Google Earth's unique and extremely user-friendly interface to allow users to explore flood hazards in their area. To use this tool, users should first download Google Earth at the web address on screen and print it in your participant materials. After Google Earth is installed, you will also need the NFHL data layer. Go to the web address on screen and in your participant materials. Then scroll down the page to the section labeled FEMA NFHL. Click the link labeled KMZ to download the NFHL dataset. If you have not done so already, open Google Earth, then go to File, Open, and find and select the recently downloaded KMZ file. The map will begin zooming. To see a brief overview of how to use the tool, click the box to the left of Quick Start Instructions under NFHL Help Information. To clear the instruction box from your screen and to view flood hazard data, 
Uncheck the Quick Start Instructions box and check the NFHL box. This will load the NFHL dataset. Now you're ready to type an address, city, or zip code into the search box on the top left corner of the screen. The software zooms into the location and provides detailed aerial maps of the location with the flood data overlaid onto the map. Refer to the Reference Layers section labeled as Legend underneath NFHL Help Information on the left-hand side of your screen to determine how features are labeled on the map. Features that the NFHL dataset illustrate include delineations of the floodway, the 1% annual and 0.2% annual chance flood hazard zones, locations of letters of map change, and labeled base flood elevations. As with the FEMA Geo Platform, Google Earth can only provide flood hazard information for areas where DFIRM products have been produced by FEMA. For more information about how to download and use Google Earth to view flood hazard data, FEMA has prepared a tutorial that can be found at the FEMA Map Service Center at the web address on screen and printed in your participant materials. An overview of FEMA's digital flood hazard data products and tools can be found at FEMA's Map Service Center website. The web address is located in your participant materials. Today, you have learned about several ways you can access flood maps to learn about flood hazards in your area.